Hello sixth graders, this is Skill Builder 9 and today we'll be learning a new note called C natural. So if you think back to all of the music that you have played since starting your instrument, every time you had a C, you have played a C sharp. But now that you're getting to some more advanced music, you're going to have to know this new note called C natural. And in a minute we'll talk about how you know when to play a C natural versus when to play a C sharp. But the first thing I want to do is to show you how to play it on your instrument. So for violins and violas, normally you'd play a C sharp by putting your first finger down and then a space to your second finger. To make that note C natural, you're just going to take your second finger and move it back close to your first finger. Now one thing you have to be really careful of is that a lot of times since your second and third finger are used to being close to each other, they like to move back together. But that third finger needs to stay where their sticker is on your instrument. And so we're going to have our second finger move back to next to our first finger without moving the third finger, okay? But this is a C natural on violin and viola. Cello, it's actually even easier than that for you. You've been playing three fingers on the A string to make the note C sharp. To make it C natural, you just take your third finger off and play with your second finger. I bet you've been wondering this whole time what your second finger does. It plays the note C natural. And then bass, yours you have to shift for. And so if you think about that D major scale that you play, when you shift up, you put your second finger down to play C sharp, and then your fourth finger down to play D. Well, instead of that second finger being C sharp, you're going to use your first finger. So you'll have your second finger sticker or tape, and then one half step below it with your first finger, this is C natural. And so that hand frame up there is one for C natural, two for C sharp, and four for high D. You all have a fingering chart on the top of the worksheet that I gave you this week, so you can also look at that to visually see how your instrument plays C natural. But now let's get back to the question I asked a minute ago, which is, how do I know when to play a C natural? Well, there's two ways that you will know or that the music will indicate to play a C natural. Let's take a look at number 130 on the worksheet, and this is the first way, which actually is the least common way, but it's the easiest to explain. And you can see on the very first note of 130, which should be a C, in fact, they're all Cs, it is marked with a natural sign. I have a natural sign up here on the board, so you can see what that is, a, a larger version of it, so you can find that in your music, and that very first C is marked as a C natural. Now there is a rule in music that if one note is marked as a natural or a sharp or a flat, in a measure the rest of them are. So all of the C's in that first measure are natural. And as you look through number 130, you can see that we're basically playing a bunch of C naturals. So let's practice 130. Set your fingers down however I just told you to play C natural. And let's do this so we can practice playing. So one, two, here we go. Excellent. All right, let's take a look at 131. So I said that the first way that you can tell if you need to play a C natural is that the natural sign will be in front of it. So if you take a look at 131, we have a high D and then a C, and it doesn't say natural next to it. And because of some things that we'll talk about in a minute, I can tell you this is a C sharp. So we have high D, C sharp, high D. And then if we move to measure three, there's a high D, on um, this time, there's a natural sign in front of it, so that means a C natural, okay? C natural, and then high D. By the way, something I meant to say earlier when I was talking about how to play the notes, for violins and violas, sometimes you'll hear me refer to this as a low two, because you're so used to having your second finger in this position that you have to back it up, make it lower, lower the pitch to uh, make that note C natural. And so if I ever say low two, that's what I'm talking about. Um, so C natural is a low two, C sharp would be called a high two. Of course, it's different for cello and bass, but I just wanted you to know if, if you hear me say that, that's what I'm talking about. So we should be able to play 131 and demonstrate the difference between a C sharp and a C natural. Let's try that. Set down your fingers for high D. Ready? Here we go. Good 
this time it'll be C natural, high D, C natural. So you can really hear the difference. They are two different notes. Many years ago, I had a student tell me that they sounded the same, so it didn't matter which one she played. But you can clearly hear they are different notes for sure. Okay, uh, one more practice of playing C naturals and C sharps, having that natural sign in front of the note. If you take a look at 132, we have, and they actually have put some arrows in for violins, uh, on your music, and I think for cello and bass, they put finger numbers to help you. But we have two high Ds, and then there's no natural sign in front of it, so two C sharps, two C naturals, back to two C sharps. So we're just all over the place in 132. Let's see how we do playing through this together. Set those fingers for high D. One, two, here we go. <laughs> So hopefully you're feeling comfortable playing that note C natural. Now there is a second way that the music can indicate to play C natural. It's kind of sneaky, but this is the most common way that you will know to play that note. And so really listen, and we'll go over this in class again, but I want to make sure that you understand that this is something you will see all the time moving forward. So if you take a look at number 133 and look past your clef, it might look different depending on your instrument, but you can see there is one sharp next to your clef, and we call this the key signature. Now, in every other piece of music that you have played since starting an, inst an instrument, your key signature has been the same. It's been two sharps, and you probably never realized that, but those two sharps are telling you to play F sharps and C sharps, and that's why every F and C that you have played since beginning your instrument has been a sharp note. Well, in number 133, I only have one sharp in the key signature. That sharp is F sharp. That's something you can go ahead and commit to memory right now. If you see one sharp in the key signature, it's an F sharp. And so we're good to play F sharps, right? And we've been doing that all along. But if only the Fs are sharp, that means that your Cs need to be natural. And so even though the Cs look the way that they've looked this whole time you've been playing, because that key signature doesn't say that your Cs are sharp, they now all become natural. And so as you're looking through 133, anytime you see a C, you have to play that new note, C natural. This is something that takes some practice to learn. And if you think about our piece, Our Heroes, if you go back and look there, you only have one sharp. And that's one of the reasons why we are learning this, so that when we get there and you have Cs, some of you will have to play C naturals. And in the piece that we're going to play with the high schoolers, you also are going to have C naturals. And moving forward, you're going to see them all the time. So this is a big step for you. This is a very important thing to learn and understand. But don't get discouraged if you have a hard time with it right now because this is some tough stuff. And it might take you a little while to retrain your brain to something new. Okay, so 133, we only have one sharp in the key signature. That means that you play all of your F sharp, but your C's are natural. Let me play this for you, and you can play along with me at home if you'd like. This one starts on a G. Starts on a G, so set those fingers down for G. One and two, and ready, and here we go. <laughs> Again, the more you practice this, the easier it's going to get. There's two sides to this. First of all, there's the just practicing what a C natural feels like and sounds like. And then there's the reading music side. That's the thing that tends to trip kids up the most. The minute I say, hey, it's a C natural, they can fix it. But it's catching it in the music that tends to get kids. And like I said, we'll keep practicing that over the next several years, actually. Even some of my high schoolers get tripped up with naturals, although by high school I expect you to know. But every once in a while, people make mistakes, right? 
Um, so 134, take a look at your key signature. That's something we are going to start doing now that we know these new notes. So uh, we have just one sharp. And what did I tell you a couple minutes ago? If there's only one sharp, it makes it an F sharp. And that means your C's are natural. So I'm going to go through and play 134. Again, you can play along at home with me or you can listen and then practice it on your own. All of those C's are C naturals. I'm setting my fingers down for high D. One, two, three, four. So take some time to look through these, make sure you can play them before the next day one. Thanks so much for watching your skill builder. Everyone have a great day and I will see you in class.